Okay, my friend, there was, I mean, there was drama all Everyone. over the place in nice. the Premier League this weekend. Yeah. Liverpool 4, Fulham 3. Couldn't quite believe as, as things were dropping in. I'm seeing gold flashes here and the 80th minute, Fulham looked like 3-2 up, going to win it. Ten minutes later, Liverpool in a couple of minutes have got uh, an endo goal and a, and a Trent, well, second for me, but first in... Um, statistics and Fulham Liverpool get a win again as at, um, at Anfield. I've read something more back to you. Somebody said it would have been Klopp's second only second home loss in 104 games, but it said with spectators in the stadium. So I think there's something like obviously they must have lost a couple of games during the COVID thing, but there's something mm. slightly incredible about. Liverpool, Klopp and, Amf- uh, and Anfield that gives them a chance, I would say, Rob. That gives them a chance. Mm. I'm still not sure. I still think games like today are days when they like, uh, convince themselves. I've got So my image, my al- analogy of Liverpool today is looking in, in, the, in the bathroom mirror saying, we can be champions. No, you can be a champion. No, you are a champion. I just feel like it's still not quite champions-ish football yeah. yet. Yeah. But they're yeah. in there with a sh- they're in there they're in there with a shout. The, the listen, I love so much about the rebuild in midfield. Um, I think we know they've got spectacular mm. players. Some of the goals today, Rob, particularly in the Liverpool and the tactic session, we yeah. just broke down a few oh. of these strikes oh. we saw this weekend. And some of the strikes in this game were absolutely incredible. Um, I, I just. Yeah. You know, for me, three goals against you know Fulham scoring three at Anfield. It, it's still yeah. Yeah. that. That's my that's my kind of concern about Liverpool because I, I believe so much in their mm. their attacking play. Like yeah. you said, that the spirit of Anfield, the manager, that football club, and and how they can get things going. I just you know they, they found a way today, um, but 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 they don't yeah. need to go back. And they haven't been to be fair. Their defensive record's pretty good. They're second in the league table. Mm. Um, you know, they've got the joint best defensive record. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, maybe I'm going way too early here, but I just worry that they're going to yeah, they're going to concede many, a few too many goals to be right there at the very end. But um, I shouldn't really say that because, again, the record right now after 14, they concede a goal again, yeah. 14 goals conceded. But sometimes but, your eyes tell you different than stats, Rob, don't they? Yeah, sometimes you see yeah. things or you see moments where things haven't happened you go, mm, that's not good. You know, people getting looks at goal, people getting in behind yeah. and things. Yeah. So, listen, you, you, you tell it as you see it. The stats are great, the numbers are good. I don't think Jurgen Klopp's sitting at home going defensively, we're, we're exactly where I want to be. And but it's I don't better, get isn't the it? sense they, of that. I still better. think there's. Yeah, they are better it, that in that regard. It is better. And, and that's going to be important. And these goals in the team, look, and, you know, as we see today, these goals from different places, which is yeah. going to be important. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I still, for me, there's still a, a bit of they need convincing and they need to convince me more than anything that they're, they're going to be, they can go all the way and, and challenge for whether it's Arsenal or City at the top of the table. Yeah, when these games go on, and this is it with, with total transparency here, when all these games go on at the same time, you know, we, mm. we have a main game to look at in the studio, which is the, was the Man City Spurs yeah. game at this yeah. time. We're looking up at other screens in our studio, looking at the goals and breaking down stuff, and then there's another goal goes in and there's this penalty. Mm. It, it, it's hard to get a real detailed look at them. You don't so, really get, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah. you know, I ain't gonna, we, we, I'm ain't gonna. not going to break down this get because I didn't get a close look at it. And of course, there'll be weekends where we yeah. do get a close look and we can have a deep dive into them. Um, all mm. I know is some of those goals, and, and Trent Alexander-Arnold, talk about a clutch yeah. player I mean that's twice now where he stepped huh. up and he's, he's a super talented footballer played a lot of the times I, when I did look up he was in the middle of the park in central midfield making things mm. happen there but what a game what a game of drama Fulham they still they still you know they're missing attacking players etc but they still punch yeah. well under Marco Silva um, but what a comeback and what a feel good factor for Liverpool given that situation when they come back and win 4-3 so very, very good stuff. I, I love. I th- was that his first Liverpool goal, Alexis McAllister, or Premier League goal? I think. It was yeah, his Alexis first. McAllister. Yeah, 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 which is somewhat a little bit surprising. I know he's playing in a deeper role, but what a strike! Half volley, mm, Rob, thirty yards strike. out. Strike. Absolutely wow. magnificent. Wow. What a player! What a player I mean, he is. The, the free kick from Trent, and and and, and you know the, the late one with the drama, and, and the, I mean yeah, Endo's he's goal. Not, he's not Endo's probably slap. as underappreciated. Endo's goal. Yeah, lovely yeah. slap and. Yeah. You know, I, I thought Trent was, was close to being... I mean, if he is underappreciated, he shouldn't be because he's almost redefining yeah. the modern role of a, of a fullback. Yeah. Uh, 
and playing right on top of his game now yeah. and, and you know all that talk about where England you know is he going to be good enough for England England should be making sure that Trent Alexander is a part of yeah. things going forward to the Euros that we saw Drew uh, earlier um, this week mm. but yeah great win for Liverpool yeah. uh Again, Anfield in the cup playing well. Three points. I think that gets them into second spot, aren't they? Now just behind Arsenal. And, you know, more to come, I would say. I still think there's more to come from Liverpool, which yep. is the slightly frightening thing for, yep. for the rest of the league. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.